It's late October here in Yorktown. This is our backyard. Just want to share a little video with you. Look at these two trees. They are unbelievable. These are our twin trees. This is what we call the Tuscan Wine Garden. You can see we have a little fountain in the back. peaceful. Earlier this week we released the trailer for our YouTube channel Wild Bear Mountain Homestead and I was trying to decide or we were trying to decide where would be a good place to start our videos and of course we decided to start here in Yorktown where we're starting our journey and eventually we will end up just a few years at our homestead up in the mountains of Virginia. I love running water so we have a few uh, water features here on the property and if you saw the trailer you saw the river in our creek and it's absolutely amazing we love it so much there this is one of my I have little garden spaces everywhere anywhere I can find a little ray of sunshine that's where you'll find a little garden in our yard look at this tree I think it's crazy uh, I want to tell you a little story about this this is our greenhouse but it started out as a duck house. Um, the very top half of this was our duck house. I'll go inside, give you a little look around. This was a duck house from the board cross. And I was actually watching Zach on Styrus Homestead and he was building a greenhouse out of cattle panels. And I thought, hmm, right in the backyard we had the duck trailer we caught it and we had given our ducks to some friends to our friend's daughter and her husband they have a farm over in gloucester with a beautiful pond so the ducks are much happier there we had three little ducks but this was their duck tractor and this what is now a window was the, actually the door um, to the duck house we built the frame at the bottom and our son-in-law helped us hoist it up here and we had taken the original covering off it used to be half covered for the ducks and covered in the plastic for the greenhouse it worked great this year and so we're really excited about that when we go part of this we will dismantle this and of course the shelves and the workbench and things like that will go with us and uh, in a future video i'll show you our plans for a greenhouse up in the mountains but for now this little greenhouse has worked out great I thought you might like to see a photo of the duck tractor before we transformed it into the greenhouse. You can see just how cute the little ducks were and a good note to add is some advice that Joel Salatin gives in his new book, Polyface Micro, about what not to do. He says not to get farm animals because of their cuteness. Oops. And here they were before they moved to the farm. Happy ducks. We'll creep through here. Guess what? Another water feature. And... We have a little garden here with some bone sack growing, elderberry, strawberries. But it's late fall, or excuse me, late October, early fall, and things are dying back as they do. So here's just a little peek into the backyard. This is what we like to call our German fest tent. We lived in Europe. For a total of seven years, three years in Italy, four years in Germany. And of course we have our little fire pit back here, a little fireplace. And here's first glimpse at the girls. Hi girls. Hi. Wanna come say hello? Wanna come say hello? Hi guys, this is Mary. Hello. She's the oldest of our twins. She's 15 minutes older. Uh, she's also a yoga instructor, studio manager, and she chicken sits for us when we are up at the cabin. So she's gonna just give the chickens a little bit of water. We wanted to show you our cute little pallet sink over there that we made. Okay. They love it when you dump their water out. They go for the worms. 
This little sink, we really have fun with our little outdoor sink. It's made out of pallets. And the sink itself came from the cabin. We uh, replaced the sink in the bathroom at the cabin and brought this home and made a little Hi, sink Bucky. for our garden coop. These are the baby girls. We've got these five this past spring. Hello. This is Liliana. Hi, Lily. That's Jessie. Hi, Jessie is the fastest and you cannot Hi, contain Bear. that chicken in anything. Jessie. This is Fawn. This is Bucky. Taking a little spot, a little dirt Bucky. bath. Bug beak, and this is feather. You got four eggs. Cool. We should have five, but four is pretty good. It might be a fifth one later. Probably will be. Oh, here comes Netto into the pen. Netto, what are you doing over here, girl? You're gonna be chicken drama, Mary. Netto's over here. Give them all fresh water. Look, here comes Netto. She's been such a bad girl. Where? She's in the coop. What? Little. Hi girls. Okay guys, this is Dan's next project here in Yorktown. You can see he has a ladder tied to, to the tree. He will be working to remove the low hanging branches above the chimney. So this could be an interesting project. There will be a video. I wanted to thank you guys for stopping by today. I wanted to share a few areas in our backyard or a little vignettes and some of our backyard projects. And hopefully, hopefully you'll come back to visit us as we trek toward our retirement downsizing up to the mountains from the beach and come back to see us